It's a dream for a lot of university students, doing Europe, traveling overseas, seeing the sights, drinking in the history. But for four young Canadians who've gone to Czechoslovakia, a very different goal. Not backpacking, but business. The CBC's Steve Fisher takes us to the streets of Prague now to see how they're doing. For 24-year-old Rob Frederick, it's like coming home. His family fled Czechoslovakia and moved to Toronto when he was a child. Now he's back, one of a group of four Canadians who set up a small company involved in a number of business ventures, including computer sales. In Canada, most of the business is already taken up. The competition is incredibly fierce. And uh, the capital needed to start something of this, I guess you'd say, magnitude. It's just incredible. And I would have never been able to do that in Canada. His partners include Tony Hasek and Gene Wagner, both 24 and from Toronto, and Glenn Emery, 26, from Vancouver. Altogether, they might have two years of business experience in Canada, but they're brimming with confidence. I'll make it here because I know that when I'm thirsty, I should be able to buy a drink. Every day I'd walk down the street and I had a thousand ideas of things that simply I took for granted in Canada, and here there weren't any. Others are not so confident. Since the revolution, only about 60 Canadian firms have registered as businesses in Czechoslovakia, and only a handful have actually set up shop. The four have provided advice and encouragement to other Canadian companies, big and small, that are considering investing in Czechoslovakia. They come here, the first day they have a nightmare with the telephones, the second day they have a nightmare with their accommodation, the third day they try to go directly to a place in the government to find somebody. He's not there and nobody knows where he is. And this happens for the f whole time that they're here and they go home. And I've, we've seen it happen a hundred times. Canadian industry writ large probably hasn't been as active here as they could have been or should have been. Ross Miller is with the Canadian Embassy in Prague, helping Canadian entrepreneurs get started in Czechoslovakia. In telecommunications and in retail services, there are just so many things that have to be changed. And so there seems to be a, a plethora of, uh, of opportunities. And uh, I would think particularly if you have the language background. Rob grew up speaking Slovak at home in Toronto. It's a language similar to Czech. He's putting it to good use in Prague. The language is so difficult to learn, Westerners who are fluent in Czech or Slovak are rare. Rob's company has sold computers to about a dozen firms so far. Rob is the computer hacker of the group. He gets the machines up and running and provides follow-up training. Because I grew up in Canada, it seems that I have more of an intuitive knowledge as to what a consumer may want from a company. Servicing, um, being always there for the customer, make it, directing my company towards the customer's needs. Here in Czechoslovakia, they still have to learn that. Tony Hasek and Gene Wagner are the sales team, making cold calls and follow-up visits. It's not like they're used to people phoning them off all the time and asking for an interview or for their time. They uh, Basically, they're not sick of it yet. And so we have a great opportunity to get in there and get time from people in important positions in their companies. But there are disadvantages as well. A currency so devalued, few can afford high-priced Western goods, an old unreliable phone system, and after 40 years of communism, a poor understanding of Western business principles. The four young Canadians have already learned a few hard lessons. An attempt to market t-shirts failed, and they've run into bureaucratic nightmares trying to export checkmate goods to the West. I call it the favor bank here, and you have to, in order to get some things done, you have to do things for other people and you have to know people. And if you don't have friends in, the, in a country like this, you can't get anything done. See if they can just level it off a little bit on both sides. Despite setbacks, Glenn Emery is now yeah. working with one of their Czech friends to get a yeah, new yeah. project off the ground. They've leased this old laundromat in Prague, with financing from an American partner, they'll soon install a number of new machines. This is going to be the first automated uh, laundromat in Czechoslovakia, maybe, maybe in Eastern Europe, I don't know, but in Czechoslovakia for sure. While the four may not yet be rich, they are at least almost debt-free. They pay $30 a month rent for their computer store. They keep only a small inventory on hand and demand cash up front on all sales. 
Most of the money earned is put back in the business. Each draws a minimal salary. My name is Tony Hasek. This is the stuff that they're not allowed to export to Canada. But then again, they don't need much. Beer, food, rent, and just about everything else here is still cheap by Western standards. All four are committed to a long and prosperous stay in Czechoslovakia. I'd like to grow with the country. It's, in, it's incredible. I've been here two years and I've already seen so much growth. I've seen the country change and uh, I find that that just being a part of it is an incredible experience. For News Magazine, this is Steve Fisher, CBC News in Prague, Czechoslovakia. Earlier today, we called Rob Frederick at the computer store in Prague just to check in. He says the computers are selling better than ever, and they're gearing up for the grand opening of the laundromat on October the 12th. Coming soon on News Magazine, the controversy over drinking and pregnancy. In parts of British Columbia, the law 